Hello and welcome to the Tutorials by LLV Salamence Tutorial. In this video, I will be making the shiny salamence, but you can make the normal salamence if you want to. So let's get started in the tutorial. Okay, so we are going to be starting with the legs. So take three light blue bands. Remember, I'm doing shiny, so I'm going to be using light green. Put them right here. Take another three light blue bands, place them right here. Another three light blue bands, and place them here. Now grab your hook in a silver, a single silver band, and wrap it around your hook four times, and place that on the capping band, on as the capping band. Turn it all around and start looping. Reach under the capping band. Make sure that you don't grab any of the loops of the capping band with it. Loop up. Grab a holding hook and take it off. Now you're going to want to pause the video and make three more legs so that you have a total of four. Now we are going to start on the horns. So take a single light blue band, put it on your hook, and then wrap it around. So it's wrapped around your hook two times. This is called double looping your band. And so put it on here. Double loop another band, place it there, cap it off, and wrap it around four times. One, two, three, four. So you have four rings. Place it on this peg. Flip your loom around. Start looping. Just be careful with these because they are tighter than normal bands. If you have not worked with double loop bands before, which you probably have, take it off your loom and put it on a holding hook. And now you're going to want to make five more of these so you have a total of six horns. We're going to do the tail. So take three light blue bands, place them here. Take another three light blue bands here. Another three. Now we're switching to double looped. So grab one band, double loop it, place it here. Grab another band, double loop it, and place it between the same two pegs. So you have two sets of double loop bands in the same two pegs. Do this again. Grab a band, double loop it, place it as so. And then place another one on top of it. Now switching to normal double looped bands. Take one, place it as so. Take another one. Place it on the next set of pegs, and your last one right here. Cap it off by wrapping it around your heck or your peg four times, and place it here. Turn your loom around, start looming. Be careful with the double loop bands as they are tighter. Just loop the bands that you have two normally. Be very careful with these, they're very tight, especially if you are using ring balloon bands. Now take your hook, your holding hook, and Take your tail off your loom. You can fix any mistakes there might be. As so. We're now going to start on the wing, but first we have to switch to straight position. So take off the blue pieces. Yeah, in case you hadn't noticed, that is what the um, end of the hook is actually for. I've heard of people. Lots of people don't know that. 
and that is why for some people they their looms when they try and pull stuff off they start pulling up that's because if you just take off one pin bar and you try and move it up it actually damages it all right so now to start with the wing and we are gonna go take two bands at two red bands at a time and we're gonna go down ten times so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten push all these down if you have not already take two red bands and stretch them from here to here another two bands from here to here go down we're gonna go down six times I believe so there's three four five and six going down four times on the top row farthest left take two bands here and two bands here take a single red band for cabin band wrap around your hook or your peg four times place it here press all these down if you have not already and we're going to put on our holding bands. There's one triangle, like so. Switching to double loop, so take one red band, double loop it, put it between these two. And another red band, double loop it, put it between these two. Flip your loom around and we can start looming. Reach under this, loom up, grab the next two, and the one under it. The next two in line. Make sure you only grab and do, don't loop the holding bands. And the two under it. So it's just basic looming from here. Loom all the way up this row. Stop there, start looming up this row. Stop there, loop this one, and loop up the last one, and now put your hook through as if you were going to do a slip knot, but now we are going to do a double looped band on our fingers. And we're going to put that double looped band onto our hook and we're going to use that as if it was a single band for our slip knot. So slip knot it off. Start taking this off your loom.
then straightened it out a little. And now just one more thing. Flip your loom around again. Alright, so now we are going to make this longer part of the wing. Count three from the bottom, so one, two, three. And this is between the third and fourth peg from the bottom. And take a single red band, place it as so. Another single red band. Switching to two bands. Here. And here. Another two bands here. And here. And now, since you cannot really tell on camera, it's not focused very well. Count from this four loops. So here's one, two, three, and four. Put your hook in these, the fourth loop. Sorry, not in the fourth loop, in the fifth loop. And stick that in just between the loops, not the holding bands. And place it as so. Make sure that the slipknot part's pointing this direction. Stick your hook through the next set. Don't stick it through the holding bands. And place it on as so. Now flip your loom around. And start looping. Actually, we have to still add our holding bands, so quickly put that back on. Take a double loop to red, place it as so, and another double loop to red as so. Now we can start looping. Here to here, here to here, and here to here. Finish up flipping and now take two random colored bands that you're not using in your dragon, your, sorry, your salamence. I'm choosing yellow and just make slip knots. These are temporary so do not make them too tight. Like so. Now take that off your loom, as so. Now go back, pause the video, and make one more wing so that you have two. Alright? And now we are going to get started on the hardest and probably the best looking part of the tutorial, which is Salamence's head. We are going to start with the lower jaw, so grab out your white. All the bands are, in fact, double looped. I believe it's three, yes. So count three from the bottom, so one, two, three. Take your white band, double loop it. Another white band. Double loop it. Double loop it. And start on this side. Go in as so. Do the same thing on the other side. all the bands down. Remember everything's double looped. 
take another double loop to white band place it in a triangle like so and another double loop to white band as holding it in for capping band wrap it on your hook or your peg four times and place it here put the other around and start mm -hmm. looping just before you start be incredibly careful because these are tighter than normal and will snap very easily grab the first set loop it the next set next set Start looping all the way up. Loop the last one. Alright, and now we're going to do the same thing as we did on the end of the wing. Just grab some random colored bands and slip knot it off. And carefully, peg by peg, take it off your room. And there is your lower jaw for your salamence. And so we are now going to start on the top of the head, so count four from the bottom. One, two, three, four. Take three light blue, as so. Take another three light blue and all your horns, and put one of the horns onto those three. And place it as so. Another three, put your horn on, and I'm using three because there's going to be a lot of things attached to these bands, and so we don't want them to break. Alright, now we're switching to double loop to bands. Get a Light blue band, double loop it. Another light blue band, double looped. Here. Double looped 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 here and one here. For the capping band, wrap it around your hook or your peg four times so you have four loops. Place it here. Now we're going to do the eye part. So this right here, going to the top of the loom, believe, yes, take a single red, double loop it, place it, then take a single white, okay, that one's not good. Okay, double loop it as so. Take a single black, wrap it around your hook four times so you have four loops. Take the innermost part of that white and wrap it around twice. 
Um, this eye technique credit goes to DIY Mommy. And we are now going to take a red double loop it, stretch it out, and place that eye onto it. And mess with it so that it how, looks how you want. Place it on your loom. Take another double loop thread. Place it. And I believe the capping band is around four times. Yes. So wrap it around your hook four times. A single red band. And place it here. We're going to do this again. Take a single red band. Double loop it. Make your eye again, white band to double loop it, single black, wrap it around four times. Take the innermost white and wrap it around another four times, two times, sorry. Take a red, double loop it, and pull it out onto that red. And place it right here. Another double loop thread. And for capping band wrapper on your hook or your peg four times so you have four loops. And place it here. Flip your loom around. Start looming it. Just loom the eye one like normal. Go on to the next one. Like so. Take one off. Take the other one off. Okay, so take those two, grab a light blue, double loop it, stretch it out, and pull them onto it. Like so. Stretch it between the two pegs. Grab the first part just so like just two rubber bands even though it's only one. Could be a little tricky depending on what hook you have and what bands you're using. And then just leave it like that for now. We're gonna be looping it on to the other one later. And now for the next holding band here. Oh yeah. You are going to want to stick them through like so. Alright. So First, you're just going to want to unhook this band and this band because we're going to be putting the edge of the eyes onto them. Grab your eye so it's point facing like this and put your hook through the bottom of it. Grab the end of that triple looped band and pull it through. Oh yes, and you're going to want to take this off of its hook, its pegs as well. Okay, so 
as you can see, we have a little bit of a problem. The eye is facing the wrong way. So to fix that, hopefully all we're going to have to do is flip the capping band. So now if your eye is upside down, stick your hook through the top rather than the bottom. Like so. Hopefully that will. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So grab that, put your hook through the bottom, yes, the bottom. Like so. And grab that triple looped band. It's not triple looped band, just triple band. And it will be like so. And we are going to replace that holding band back on. And we're going to take that double looped band that we momentarily took off the peg and place it back on. Like so. And I believe we're good to go. Yep. So now we can start looping. Flip your loom around. Reach under the capping band, grab the first set of double looped bands, grab the next set, next set, and loop to here on this one. And then on this side, we are going to be looping to this peg. Now we're going to grab our lower jaw. We're going to stick our hook through one of the loops on the side that's secured with that slip knot. Could take the slip knot off and place it onto this peg and loop up just to be very careful stop there gonna grab our hook with all of our horns on it and place it on stick your hook through the other side one like so. Take off the slip knot and place it on this peg. Stop there again and we're going to put on the other horn. Now for the last one, stick your hook through, place it, reach, try to reach under all of these and grab three blue bands underneath, 
If you need to, swirl your hook around to relieve some of the tension. Slip knot off this one, the end. And now, extremely carefully, we are going to take it off our loom. Okay, so now that we have our eyes all nice and aligned, like so, we just have one more problem, and that is that we only have two horns on either side. We're going to be fixing that. So stick your hook through the the last loop of the bottom one, right here. Actually, don't stick it through the bottom one. Stick it through the last loop of the top one. Take a band and pull it through. And one end of the band, the band that's coming, the end that's coming out of the top of the horn, you're gonna wanna wrap that around the horn and just ignore it for now. And now the band that's coming out of the bottom, we're going to slide our third horn onto. Stick your hook through the bottom one. Take that band, pull it through, and then pull that one around. So you see the third horn isn't physically attached to the head. It's just attached to the other horns. Like so. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take your band, pull it through, the top part, wrap it around the horn, pull the horn, the third horn onto the bottom part. And then wrap that part around like so. And now your head is officially completed. Now we're just going to make the neck. So from the bottom go down six times, six spaces, not pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then take three of your light blue here. And then we're gonna go down all the way to the bottom. Another three. Another three. Another three. Make sure it's three. Don't lose any of your bands. And six. Take your head, stick your hook through that last band that's secured with the slip knot. Take the slip knot off. And put your dragon's head onto it. 
with your loomer in and start looming. And rip it off. Okay, we are now going to start on Salamence's body. So take two of your blue bands here, two blue bands here, and we're going to go down six times. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, and six. And on the sides, we're going to be going down five times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Now for the wings. Grab your one wing. Make sure that the part with the slip knot is facing this direction. Take off the slip knot. Make sure you fit it between the two rows of pegs. Is the first one's here and the second one is right next to it. So here. Kind of gonna wanna pull it out a little. And now for the next wing, make sure the slip knot is pointing this direction. Get the next one. you are wondering why I only did one band for the end and that was so that it would not be too thick on the back so there wouldn't be like a ridge or anything all right now for holding bands they are two bands no double looped bands so two here two here Two triangles, two here, two here, and two here. Take your tail, place it on this last Peg. Take your dude's head, make sure you place it upside down, 
on this pack. Take off the slip now, of course, first. See, so it's upside down, so this would be his belly. Okay, now we're ready to start moving. Reach under the tail, grab the first set of two bands. Go here, grab the next set. Oh, and on these rows, don't move any more than these two. Grab the last set, loom up, and you can loom all the way up in the middle row. Just reach under all these, don't loop the red bands. Like so. And now, grab the hook that has your feet on it. Loom this band, but while you're looming it, slide the leg on, just like we were doing with our horns. Do the same thing on the other side. Like so. Gender loop up, stop here. Okay, so stop there, do the same thing on the other side, stopping at the same point. Don't loop the holding bands. We're gonna do the same thing as we did down here. Slide that foot on. And then loom to the center, loom to the center. Now for the slip knot, grab one light blue band, slip knot it through this side. Do the same on the other side. So you have a total of two slip knots and that just gives extra protection in case the one breaks. Pull them tight, unlike the temporary ones, and carefully you can now take them off your limb. Take off, take out your wings. Kind of messes them so he looks good. And there's your dude's body. We still have to do the belly. But for these slip knots, you can wrap them around the neck twice so they'll be hidden. Like so. It's two salamences. And now we are going to make the belly. Because you know, it just kind of seems big there. Now for the belly, it's all double looped white bands, except for the ones in the center. The, like, stripes on the belly. So, here's one here. Here. And we're gonna go down all with double loop twice here, four times. So, one, two, 
three and four. Go down three times on the side, one, two, Close it off. Push all these down. And now we are going to put some extra loose bands on it. So there's going to actually first put on your cabin band. Sorry. Wrap it on your hook or your peg four times. We are going to be using Courtney Nicole's stomach attachment design to place the stomach. So take one loose band, put it here, a loose band here, here, and that's it. Now for the holding bands. Take a uh, double looped band, as so. Another double looped band. And another double looped band. We are going to first loop these three. So grab that first set. Next set, third set, and we're going to just loop all the way up on the middle row. And for these, we're going to take a single gray or silver band, double loop it, and stretch it between the two pegs. And then just loop as normal. Again here, here, you can also lift this up, stop there, do another double looped gray right here, and then you can continue looping as normal. Just be careful as these are tighter than normal, so you can see that. Slipknot with a light blue. And then slowly take it off. Alright, so here's our belly. It's a really thin belly. Alright, so now lay your salamence out as so. And put your stomach about in the middle, wherever you want it. It'd be better if the slip knot was pointing upwards. And then we are going to stick our hook through these bands in the body, just the top ones, like so. And we are going to grab this and loop it through. And that's all we're going to do for now. Do something similar on these. It does not have to be the exact same ones. 
wherever you want to put your belly that's where you're gonna put it make sure you go all the way around and secure all the bands in that way this band grab it Now, take this band, make sure it's this band because we have to go in a very particular fashion. Grab it, pull it up, separate the two sides, and pull this band through it. Going to do the same thing on the other side, pull that band through it, and pull the last band through it. And now you can put the last band on the neck. And there you go. Now your salamence has a little better. And he's all done. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. You can go back and maybe make another salamence. This time shiny. If you want. I did because I love salamence.